Hi guys, uh, so just wanted to make a quick behind the scenes just to show you a couple of cool things that I think are neat <laughs> and just wanted to share with you. I'm recording this tea video uh, right now partially in the morning. The rest I'm going to record in the evening when Mila falls asleep. So right now I'm doing all the extra small shots that are different angles, different things, maybe more silent. I'm so excited to record this tea video. I've been thinking about it for a few days. I've collected a few different things from different stores and I thought it would be so tingly. So I hope people will enjoy it. I've been really inspired to do a half of the face video, kind of um, all gentle whispering style or it's blitz style, who I miss so much. I hope she comes back with a new SMR video soon for us. With all the oils maybe, it's my favorite stuff. <laughs> so anyway, and I'm going to just concentrate kind of on my hand movements and the tea themselves because they're so beautiful. They're really wonderfully crafted. They're um, expensive teas, but they're very, I don't know, they're so worth it. They, they taste like dessert in some cases and there's no sugar in them, but they're so indulgent. Like I gave Daryl um, a sniff of a few of them and he's like, oh my god, he like starts <laughs> salivating and he never drinks tea, so it's crazy. I've been sick for a couple days now. I'm really trying to get over it and I'm doing all the gargling and the cleaning of my nose and all the gross stuff. <laughs> Just trying to get over it and it really pushed my schedule and I feel super lazy <laughs> and all the, all the nice stuff as always. And of course, all the pimples are here to stay, so we already know. This is the look. It's not a real wooden <laughs> thing. It's um, a backdrop. Okay, super loud airplanes today. So for meditation, I leaned the camera over the table to match the glass. And I'm about to record it right now. So... Put the light, a little box, <laughs> glass of uh, for wine, and you end up with this kind of shot. Okay, and so I'm going to be doing all of these little gentle touches, and you'll be looking down into it and watching the steam come up and the little petals open up in the tea. And I thought it was so dope. So, <laughs> like a triple view. <laughs> For you to enjoy okay i got from target from target this little glass vases and they were like a real godsend they were so beautiful so i put some of the teas in them that was a real cool touch i got excited <sighs> i have all of my extras there and it's kind of a mess otherwise as always it really looks like a brewery i'm even thinking of like doing um <laughs> some beer tasting video right after that because it looks like it should be a beer tasting <laughs> okay so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and um thank you for watching hi so it's the next day and i'm recording my whole video today this time i'm doing it with makeup with hair and a different outfit and i reset the table higher so uh, you see more of my face and hands versus just uh, just like um just just boobs <laughs> but seriously i used to somehow pull off uh, those videos where you know i'm doing the chat like this <laughs> but Every time I try recently, it's just, it, it makes me feel a little bit more uncomfortable. Even though those are the videos that I really enjoy watching, like again, it splits vibes. So, either way, yesterday video did not work out, even though I was recording it for like probably six hours yesterday total, uh, like broken into two parts. I was really bummed out, um, just... The shot was not focusing on me. Most of the video, it's it's unex it's not acceptable, and for some reason my audio was weirdly recording. So it's a bummer, but all for the best. Sometimes um, when I record second time, videos come off more genuine, surprisingly, but it's because it's more practiced, 
and I'm not stuck on what to say or what to do because I've well rehearsed it at that point and it's actually a very interesting thing I'm not just that at least in my ASMR videos, not so much on the vlog, I have to say, but in the ASMR videos, um, the more I rehearse, um, the more it comes off super genuine and it makes you feel like I'm in my element. But again, in reality, those are the most rehearsed videos. A lot of times people say you should go back to your old videos, the ones that you used to record in medical supply store. And I said a million times, <laughs> those videos were planned out for hours. Yes, those 10 minute videos, I would write a script and I would write exactly every single word that I would say. And then I would memorize it by heart, practice it. And then my iPhone would record only in 10 minute increments or so something like that. So I could record those videos in 10 minute increment and I had to make a script to fit. So those videos were the most ungenuine, <laughs> even though it comes off as they are, but actually uh, they were the most rehearsed and the most practiced and the most scripted. And actually in the recent years, I've been more relaxed. So I probably suck naturally at ASMR. <laughs> and I'm probably really good at planning ASMR. So at least that's what... Um, it shows me, at least what the feedback shows me. <laughs> so, so the setup is the same exact same thing. And also I learned a few mistakes yesterday when I was recording with the little thing here. And what else? I definitely know all of my words now. Okay. So this is my script about the tea meditation. And it's not really going to work out fully because I'm not actually serving you a cup of any kind or tea. Um, like per se or what you sip it as much, but I will talk about some of it. Then here I have just a um, quick list of all the good benefits that tea has. Okay. And then these are just a couple of ones that I'm actually going to be talking about. So I wanted to make sure I know some of the words, yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate your advice. I appreciate your feedback. It really does mean a lot to me. This channel has become something slightly different. Um, and I'm not sure. <laughs> well, it's a long talk. I don't know what to do with this channel. I just want to update like this and... I want to do vlogs, but I'm also extremely nervous and it gives me so much anxiety sharing my family. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes and some of your favorite creators, uh, especially as some artists, especially females, <laughs> I'd say, have not been making videos, I'm pretty sure, because of the some of the crap that you get from behind the scenes. And... Um, there are some scary people out there, okay? And they don't even know it. And that's the scariest part. And they just, you know, they create these weird relationships with you and you have no say in it. And they just kind of dump it on you. <laughs> and then um, you don't know what to do with it. So a lot of times I think especially younger women, I, gosh, I can't imagine, I'm married with a kid, so like, I'm like in my 30s, so I'm probably like not even getting 95% of the weirdness. Um, but I used to, but last now, which I'm very thankful for my maturing, <laughs> that feels so good, I feel so free. This, this behind the scenes somehow turned into a real update vlog here. So I'm going to stop because I have to record. All right. Thank you for listening. And I'll talk to you soon again. Bye bye. Hi guys. Welcome to quick behind the scenes uh, into the library video. Just wanted to vent a little bit. Because <laughs> this is the second time I'm recording this video. Yes, again, same thing. It happened like with the tea video. I've planned everything out, I've set everything up, I've rehearsed, I set up, I recorded, and the whole time I was out of focus. I mean, the whole video was out of focus. 
I do not understand cameras anymore. This was a different camera. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was using a new, new one, uh, which everybody is gushing. Because um, I'm trying to get a different lens. I don't know what's going on, but this old lens, I don't know if I ruined it or something. It's 18 135 and it's been working fine, but it's like it just looks grainy. I know everybody keeps saying it's whatever the setting, but I've tried a different setting and it's exactly the same. So it's just weird. It's kind of, I don't know, mushed. The whole face is wiped out. Like it's, there's no sharpness, you know, anyway. So I just went to vent because same thing happened yesterday. I was recording again, I don't know, like four hours. And I was very excited for the video because I thought it turned out great. I looked great. I got everything set up and then bam, today I'm looking and it's not, <laughs> it's not acceptable anymore. And also I feel like some shots on the small camera got overheated. It shut off. So some of the shots were missing anyway. So it's just a bummer of a week. I feel like I'm working so hard on these videos <laughs> this week and it's just not working out for me. And I get really bummed out and kind of discouraged a little bit. Um, but I'm pushing myself, so I'm kind of proud <laughs> as far as that goes. I push myself into an uncomfortable zone and um, not letting <laughs> not letting it bum me out too much. But I, uh, for four days, I barely <laughs> spend any time with Mila now, and um, I'm really upset about it because anyway, it's my poor time management situation this week so it's really my fault but this also this video is also sponsored by audible i've never worked with audible so hopefully they approve this video and i don't have to record it the third time <laughs> so i'm now getting ready to record and just kind of warming up my voice a little bit <sighs> and i'll show you around just a bit okay so <laughs> This is my table. I use it basically for all of my videos when I need to stand and it's just a extra wide ironing board. Yes, that's right. And it goes pretty high, which is very nice. So I put padding, like a little soft um, blanket on the bottom. Then I put this um, full leather. And so in the background, you can see the background that's I've pinned onto the wall and well that Daryl has pinned onto the wall <laughs> have to be more specific and this is the shelving with some of the books and the clock that's not working so this is the light setup that I have here and these are set on quite low I think that lamp will have to be shut off actually so this one's kind of shining directly on the side of my face. This one is just lining up the whole scene in the front. This one is for a little bit of a gl glistening in my eye. And then this one is just to kind of kill the shadow from the side of it. Okay, this is what I see. <laughs> and the camera's all the way right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what a quality lens that doesn't sound terrible with autofocus uh, takes that's how far it is for me to fit basically my head and my shoulders and my chest and this is what you see so i really wanted to do a bit of um uh, light from top down to kind of give me a bit more eyelashes kind of look <laughs> if that makes sense and i wanted a bit of shadow to be created so this looks quite soft i like it Okay, you guys, I'm going to begin recording. Thank you so much for watching.